Hello guys! Welcome back! It's been forever. Siguro kung napansin nyo, uh, hindi ako nag-update about my rhinoplasty. Uh, because I had a bad news about it. And that is today something that, that's the topic that I will be sharing with you. So, stay lang kayo. What happened to my uh, rhinoplasty journey? Hmm. Even if the sun goes down on you, you gotta keep that right on top, yeah. On top, yeah. On top. On. Yes. Okay. So, ayun na nga. Hindi ako nakapag-update sa inyo for like two months. I don't know. Uh, the first time when I was in the Philippines and um, as you all know, I did my nose in the Philippines last October 25 and then after that it went well, it was okay actually uh, yeah, but there was a strange yung my red shot that never never went well since the operation so I thought it was just a part of healing, you know Kaya, okay, I gave my nose the benefit of the doubt na baka, alam mo yun, healing process lang. But then, it didn't go better. It went even more and more and more. So, after I think a month, yeah, a month when I was here, I went to my doctor. Sabi ko sa doctor ko nga, yeah, that I had my nose done and I was afraid na baka... I meron akong infection, baka may in, in, infected yung, yung operation, yung rhinoplasty ko. And then the first thing he did was to, yeah, check my blood, but it went out negative. I was okay. But then I, I, hindi ako satisfied because I feel like, yeah, it's not normal. That's the work. Siyempre, marami yung mga workmates ko doon na they had their nose done also sa Thailand and they tell me na Normally, maximum of two weeks, wala ka nang makikitang any redness sa, sa labas. Okay, it's healing, pero sa loob. But yung, yung redness sa, sa labas, you, you don't see that anymore. And also, uh, hindi nawawala yung pressure. There is, not, not that painful, hindi naman painful, pero may pressure. You know there is something wrong. Like there's, like pounding pounding feeling inside the, inside the the nose doon sa part na nilagyan ng, ng ng implant so after a week or two i think i went back to my doctor and told him that yeah uh, please check again because it's not getting any better and actually i was thinking of uh, taking another antibiotic kaso nga dito naman if if they don't see any reason para ka mag-antibiotic, they will not prescribe. And you cannot buy antibiotic without prescription. So, I didn't have a chance to, to take a medicine because my doctor doesn't want to give me any any medicine kasi wala namang problemang lumabas doon sa uh, blood test ko. But then, I went back and I told him that, no, please check again. Is there any other way that you could check it? And then he said, okay, I'll send you to take a photo, you know, yung sa atin yung x-ray. So, nag-x-ray na naman ako. And the, the doctor there doesn't see any any infection. So, wala. Aside from that time I went there, there was still redness and a little bit of like a bump, a hump, a pimple, red. That was all he found out sa, sa, sa photo. But then there was no infection. But then, you know, every day you see yourself, you look at the mirror and it's not getting any better. So I said, uh, I'm tired of this. I was planning to, actually, I, I plan to go to Philippines because I also communicated to my doctor. Not me personally, it's my son. I asked him to tell my situation and he contacted the doctor and the doctor said, yeah, it was just normal. It was body reaction. Yeah, he, he said a lot of answers that maybe would make me feel not scared or nervous. But then he said that I if I could go home and remove it and change 
So that means it's not good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I decided to go to Philippines and have it removed. But then, uh, magpapabook na sana ako ng ticket ko. But then, there was this uh, travel ban that I heard. And at time, my, my, my flight is going to stop in Hong Kong. So, probably, they won't allow me to, to go to Philippines. Or there would be a problem. And I will be there for like two weeks lang to remove the implant. So, I decided to cancel. And then, I went back to my doctor and explained to my doctor that, yeah, I was about to go to Philippines and but I'm scared of the, you know, the coronavirus. And so after that, my doctor referred me to a um, a doctor who is specializing in in the nose, ENT. Uh and he checked. Last Friday I went there and he said that yes, the the implant should be removed. And um, he gave me medicine for a week and then a week after, on Thursday again, I will be coming back there to, to see if there's any improvement, if it went worse or didn't do anything, the medication. He had to like emergency na tanggalin na talaga kasi sabi niya, uh, I was just on time really to, to, to do some, to have it removed kasi nga. Otherwise, if I don't remove it, baka lumabas yung implant on my nose and then it will leave a mark that I would see all, all, all my life. I will see it and I will feel bad about it. Talagang sobrang pangit daw. So, ayun. I-update ko kayo what happened. If, if you see, I still have, I still have the redness and the swelling. And every day is a torture for me to see what happened to my nose and actually uh i didn't know i was having a problem i thought it was just a normal uh healing process and thankful ako there are people who are you know who experience the same na may mga redness din sila may swelling and yun nga infected sila and they right away send me messages na uh, maybe we have the same case because you see i am infected and blah 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 we 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 chatted and yeah infected din siya we uh, we found out na same case kami same gortex ang implant same doctor sad to say it's same doctor and yeah same coming na infect and she had her nose done last July pa. And I had my nose done um, October. And someone mes sent, sent me a message again also recently. She went to Philippines to have it also removed. Because suddenly, uh, nagka, nagkaroon din ng hump. And na-alarm siya. So after two weeks, she went to Philippines. And now it was removed. And we all have the same doctor. I don't know what happened. I don't blame the doctor. I don't blame anybody. I just want to share this uh, experience for people like me who have planned to have their nose done in the Philippines. But then will go back to their to the other country, to their country. I think it's not advisable na gawin natin sa Philippines kasi sobrang hassle, sobrang... Sobrang, alam mo yun, sobrang stressful para sa atin. Kasi, first of all, ang layo. And hindi, hindi madaling kumuha ng bakasyon. And ticket pa lang, sobrang mahal na. So, uh, now I don't recommend doing your nose. Especially if you have to leave Philippines. I mean, if you are not from the Philippines. Kasi ang hirap. Okay lang siguro kung nasa Pilipinas ka and anytime na may magka problema ka you can just go to your doctor and and, ha, and right away mabibigyan ng solusyon. Pero sa case natin, sa case ko dito sa Belgium, hindi hindi ganoon kadali. Also yung friend ko sa sa Canada, nag nagaantay din siya ng mga schedule para kailan siya maisalang for removal and it's getting worse every day. It's a torture to see yourself getting worse every day. So I would suggest na yeah, if you want your nose done, make sure 
it's safe and if you can do it in the country like here in Belgium much better kesa sa Philippines I, I, I don't say I don't recommend doctors in the Philippines I mean it's just inconvenient if you have to go back to Philippines pagka magka problema and yeah tao Update ko, sa, ko kayo next week kasi babalik ako sa kanya. And then by after that, uh, tatanggalin na yung, yung implant ko. And you see here, they are very, very careful. When the doctor asked me what happened and I told him I had my nose done and I had this Gore-Tex implant. And right away, he reacted. He was so disappointed what I, I did to my nose, what I let. They, what uh, why I let a foreign body inserted in my nose because he said that it's not safe it's not because it's not natural they don't do it here in in Belgium they go for the natural you know rib cartilage and he told me that he will fix it but it will take a while he wants to make sure that you know yung nose ko muna eh, wala nang infection and uh, and recover na talaga. I heard the Philippines only wait like two, three, four months after the infection, they will change it or do it again. But here, no, they want to make sure that you will be safe. Actually, yung removal lang ng, ng implant ko, uh, I have to stay overnight na in the hospital because they have to, to monitor me to check everything that everything is okay so ganun ganun sila ka ka strict and also when i had a problem with my nose i contacted some doctors well it's those are private clinics uh rhinoplasty uh, clinics and i asked them uh they don't do nose also na nagalaw na ng ibang doctor hindi sila even even uh effects now or e, let's say you just there is no problem you just want to change it or or no they don't do it only virgin knows that they they touch they said that if if nagalaw na ng ibang doctor they can they don't want to touch it again so yun lang ang gusto kong i-share sa inyo guys na be careful if you if you are planning to do your nose and you are not in the Philippines and you will only stay there for two three weeks and have to go back to work again um, make sure make sure you're safe just make sure make sure you will not experience what uh, I had experienced because it's, it's, it's a torture it's a waste of Money. Money. <laughs> Money. And of course, you cannot work. You cannot work well. I couldn't work well. I Because I don't want to stress myself. I work short time. I don't do overtime. I just do what I can. My boss is so good to understand that no, I cannot work. I cannot stress myself. And he lets me. But of course, I, I don't make much money. So... Money is just money, you know, but the yung, yung experience, that's very traumatic. So, yun yung ayoko nang ma-experience nyo. So, if you are planning to do your nose, you better be sure na maybe you have enough time to stay in the Philippines to to see kung talagang safe. Kasi yung isang kakilala ko, uh, we chatted also and it was infected after 8 months. Sa akin, from the beginning pa lang, I think it was infected na kasi nga there was this uh, redness that didn't go go better it went even worse and 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 swelling so yun lang yun lang yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo but uh, it's up to you guys but for me I wouldn't recommend doing your nose in the Philippines especially if you don't have enough time and um I don't blame the doctor I don't I don't say it's his fault. Uh, it happens. It happens a lot. Just that, uh, yeah. If, if you are planning, just just think, think a uh, hundred times because. Sa akin yung experience ko kasi is not maganda. 
in the beginning, I was happy because actually, the nose itself, yung pagkakagawa is nice. It's so natural. Just that yung, yung infection nga ang talagang worse. So, anyway, I think it's long. It's long na yung kwento ko sa inyo. So, uh, update ako ulit ng video ko when after on Friday, probably, I will go for a check-up and uh, kapag natanggal na yung implant, i-update ko din kayo ulit. So, but, it's okay. Charge it to experience. Okay, guys, thank you for, for watching and um, see you again next week.